Uh, it was just a sort of a freak incident during practice. I went up and made a play that I've made probably thousands of times in practice and got a little tap on the back of the leg and the force of me pushing off the ground uh, combined with the kick in the leg sort of, it was enough to do it. So uh, I wound up having a vertical fracture in my tibia which is quite painful for a while but I was lucky to uh, have surgery by Dr Andrew Wines and he did a great job and now the bone's knitted correctly. Uh, it's been a little bit hard sitting out. I uh, went back home to Victoria to recover. Uh, while I couldn't do much, couldn't really walk around, but now I uh, saw the specialist the other day and the bones knitted completely. Um, now it's just a matter of ga gaining my strength and stability back in my legs, so that's going to be a process in itself, but uh, looking forward to getting back on, on my feet and uh, running around again. Uh, we well, just 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 got to make the best out of unfortunate circumstances. Turn the negative into a positive as best you can. And now, right now, I'm able to support my teammates and do everything I can off the court. So, just trying to do everything I can to get back on the floor now. Um, you know, while the bones in, was injured, I had to do everything correctly, eat the right foods, and do all my rehab. And uh, I was lucky enough to do everything correctly. And that's you know, byproduct of that is the bones healed correctly. Uh, you know, I'd love to be part of that, you know, process and back in the boomers again. I think, you know, if I can get my leg healthy, I have a lot to offer. But uh, right now, I've got to concentrate on getting back out on the floor. I'm in no shape to be playing right now. Um, but hopefully I can do that within the next couple of months and gradually progress to being able to be back on the floor.